Brett was on his way to get breakfast. After waiting for a traffic light to turn green, he proceeded into the intersection before wham! Bam, bam, Tesla cam, I hope you're satisfied. A delivery van blew through the red light and collided with Brett's Model 3, as well as a red Ford Focus. The delivery driver claimed he'd attempted to slow down and stop for the light, but witnesses claimed they'd seen and heard him speed up in an attempt to get through the intersection before the traffic with the green light had started moving. Maybe the delivery driver couldn't hear that himself, as Brett pointed out he got out of the van wearing earbuds. Not only is driving with earbuds against his employer's policy, in many places, it's also illegal. Brett is waiting for the insurance company to evaluate his Tesla, but he thinks they'll probably total it. The Model 3's right camera was destroyed during the collision, so the red Ford Focus can't be seen in the Tesla cam footage, but here's a look at the damage it sustained. Brett had only owned his Tesla for a little over a year, but he's thankful he was in a Tesla for this experience. He plans to buy a Model Y to replace it, which should cost about $37,000 US dollars after the federal tax credit. Stephen was driving down a highway outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was in the passing lane while overtaking a truck in the travel lane. Evidently, the driver of the SUV behind him thought Stephen was driving too slow and decided to pass him in the grass median. The triggered SUV driver then cut Stephen off before brake checking him. Stephen wasn't able to stop in time to avoid a collision, and the SUV driver essentially pit maneuvered himself off the front of Stephen's Tesla. The SUV spun across all lanes of the highway before ending up in the grass on the other side. Stephen pulled over and stopped in the grass median. Thankfully, neither driver was injured. They both called the police, and Stephen waited in his Tesla until they responded. After Stephen showed the cops his Tesla cam footage, the other driver had some explaining to do. He filed an insurance claim, and he's still waiting to see how much repairs will cost. Connor's brother Garrett was driving the Model 3 Connor had worked all his teenage years to afford while Connor was in the passenger seat. After stopping at 7-Eleven, they'd gone a minute away to their neighborhood and were waiting for an opening in traffic so they could turn. Suddenly, an SUV came flying down the hill behind them at around 50 miles per hour and slammed into the Tesla without ever slowing down. Garrett did try to accelerate when he realized what was about to happen, and although it did reduce the impact, it wasn't enough to avoid a collision. The SUV driver admitted the collision was his fault and that he'd been distracted by his cell phone. The Tesla shut down after the impact. Connor called 911 and police arrived 20 minutes later, but no paramedics responded since they hadn't been injured. The SUV driver and his four-year-old son weren't hurt either. Repairing the Model 3 will cost 18,000 US dollars and take two months. If you feel compelled to leave parenting tips for the SUV driver in the comments, we won't stop you. This emitter had parked his Model 3 outside of a store when an unskilled and uninsured driver attempted to park before applying the accelerator instead of the brake. The Mazda collided with the front of the Tesla, but it wasn't until our submitter returned home that he noticed the damage to the bumper cover, since he'd approached the car from behind when returning to it. He quickly combed through his sentry mode footage and found this video, and he also noticed there'd been a witness to the collision who circled around the parked Tesla. He made a police report, and they were quickly able to locate both the Mazda driver and the witness, who both confirmed what had happened. Allegedly, the owner of the Mazda had not been driving at the time. He claimed he'd lent the car to his sister. Sadly, his car insurance had lapsed, so the Mazda had been uninsured at the time of the collision. The Mazda owner apologized and tried to get together some money to cover our submitter's repair bill, but the estimate quickly grew beyond what he could afford. Once it reached 4,000 US dollars, our submitter was forced to file a claim with his own insurance provider. John was on his way to drop his brother off at the San Francisco International Airport. A Sprinter van passed them on the left, and it was clear that the driver was in a hurry, and that he wasn't paying attention as he ran a red light where he swerved to avoid an oncoming driver before plowing straight into a paint store. Thankfully, nobody was inside the store as this happened on a Sunday morning and the paint store wasn't open. Don needed to get his brother to the airport, but he returned to the scene after dropping him off. By then, the van was already loaded onto a tow truck. Dan wanted to shout out his brother Daryl. After all, he wouldn't have witnessed this collision if he hadn't been giving him a ride to the airport. 
Susu was driving slowly down a highway due to heavy rain, and she wasn't the only one being cautious. Apparently, one Mazda driver in the passing lane didn't get the memo. Unsurprisingly, the Mazda driver lost control and crashed into several other vehicles. Autopilot slowed down automatically before Susu took over and maneuvered around the collision. Thankfully, her Tesla wasn't involved in the collision, but that clearly can't be said for the other drivers. That wasn't the only driver going too fast in wet conditions, as you're about to see. Buckle up! Ryan was driving in the rain in the passing lane when an SUV in the exit lane suddenly lost control and crossed the entire highway and directly in front of Ryan. Thankfully, Ryan managed to avoid the careening SUV before it crashed into the median barrier. It wasn't safe for Ryan to stop on the highway at the time. A short time later, he came back the other way, and by then, a tow truck and two state troopers had responded to the scene. John was driving his Model Y north on I-85 in Atlanta, Georgia. The full self-driving beta was engaged when a Chevy truck overtook him in the passing lane. The truck was going too fast for the wet conditions and lost control before spinning out. Incredibly, the pickup didn't hit anything or anyone else. FSD slowed down before continuing safely once the truck had stopped in the grass off the shoulder. Rain is a good reason to slow down, but it's not the only one. Snow and ice are also dangerous, as Jay experienced while driving his Model Y in Pollock Pines. While driving in a snowstorm, his Tesla lost control and slid across the road. Thankfully, the car stopped on the side of the road without hitting anything, and Jay was able to pull out and head back up onto the road, after checking his pants for damage, that is. It's not just ice on the road that you should be careful around. It can be just as dangerous when ice is formed on vehicles. Eric was driving down a highway when he was passed by a Jeep. When it went over a small bump in the road, a tiny iceberg shook loose and flew straight into Eric's windshield. Captain, iceberg ahead. <laughs> the glass was completely cracked, and here's where the story gets interesting. When Eric contacted his insurance provider, they told him that if the ice had hit anything but the glass, they would have classified the incident as a hit and run and held the Jeep driver responsible. Instead, it's covered by his comprehensive insurance policy, so Eric had to pay a $1,000 US dollar deductible, leaving the insurance provider with only $250 to cover. Eric left this clear message for other drivers. Clean your cars off, you monsters. Runal was headed to get ice cream after a long calculus exam. He was following behind a pickup truck when the driver stopped in the middle of the street to let a silver Jeep turn in front of him. That lane has a no left turn sign, but the Jeep driver took the opportunity to turn left across the entire road instead of turning right. Another pickup pulling a trailer had no chance to react before slamming into the Jeep, T-boning it on the driver's side. Runal told us the couple in the pickup jumped out because they thought the truck was on fire, but it wasn't. Police and paramedics responded quickly, but thankfully, nobody had been injured. Runal gave a copy of his Tesla cam footage to the drivers involved, but that leaves us with the question, who's at fault for this collision? Obviously, the Jeep driver's maneuver was illegal, but should the pickup driver have stopped for the Jeep in the first place? Potentially pressuring the Jeep driver into doing something risky? We've said it before, but apparently we need to say it again. Ceding the right of way to someone else so they can cut through traffic isn't courteous, it's dangerous. Shelby was getting ready for bed when she heard a loud crash before her Tesla's alarm started going off. A notification popped up on her phone at the same time, and she leapt across the room to see what had happened. By the time she made it to the window, the other driver had already taken off, and she just caught his brake lights as they rounded the corner. Shelby ran outside, only to discover that her car was in need of some rhinoplasty. While she was still outside, a neighbor told her she'd seen the other driver take off toward the back of the neighborhood, which is a dead end. She called the police, and they quickly responded. While she and her husband were still pulling up the Tesla cam video to show an officer, they all heard a scraping noise coming down the street. The driver responsible was headed back the other way while the officers were sitting right in front of their house. An officer quickly stopped the driver, and he told the officer that he was going to come back. But Shelby really doubts that's true since he had driven away very quickly and he probably only came back because it was the only way out of the neighborhood. 
She told us that, in her opinion, Georgia law sucks, and the guy got away with committing a hit and run just because she hadn't been in her car at the time of the collision. The initial repair estimate was over 2,000 US dollars, and Shelby was given a rental for only three days. She's still trying to get things worked out as she can't afford to miss work, and repairs are likely to take longer than three days. Lewis was driving down a highway in Cutler Bay, Florida, when a landscaping truck pulling a trailer wrecked before the trailer burst into flames. We don't know what caused the wreck, but it looks like one of the trailer's tires might have ruptured. Either that, or the explosion happened first, causing the trailer to disconnect and end up in the median. Lewis sent his footage to the police. They were thankful, but they never did tell him what had happened. If you think you know, leave your theory in the comments. Napa was on his way home when traffic began building up in front of him. The driver of the Toyota Land Cruiser didn't got time for that and decided to redefine the U in SUV. He found a creative and illegal way to make a U-turn and skip the traffic. While Ray Ray was driving home in his Model S Plaid, he drove past a brand new Corvette. The driver merged in behind him, then they both continued for a while before Ray Ray ended up in pole position at a traffic light. When the light turned green, Ray Ray floored the juice pedal, but only up to the speed limit, of course. The Corvette driver pulled alongside him as they approached another light and gestured at Ray Ray with a thumbs up. They had a quick, friendly conversation at the traffic light. The Corvette driver told Ray Ray he'd owned Teslas before and loved them, but the Corvette is his new car. Ray Ray asked if he wanted to race, but only up to the speed limit. He agreed, and they took off. Even though the Corvette got a tiny head start, the Tesla quickly pulled away. The Corvette driver caught up to Ray Ray once he'd reached the speed limit and stopped accelerating, then passed him with a smile. Ray Ray just gave him a friendly nod and waved, calling all homeowners. Our newest channel, Wham Bam Security Cam, has just surpassed 100,000 subscribers, and the moments you capture through your doorbell and security cameras are incredible. Do you have a special moment to share with us? Send it in using the link in the description, and don't forget to go subscribe. We'll see you next week. Wham! Man, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show.